In this video, I'll be covering on the elements of an options contract. I will highlight the five important components that are made up of an options contract. What I will do here will be to provide examples so that you will be able to understand these five components. Let's go through the components now. First of all, let me open up an options contract. There are five components inside there. The first one would be the name of the item that you are interested in. The second one is the expiration date of the contract. Once the expiration date is over, the contract is no longer valid. The third one is the strike price. This will be the agreed price of the item that you are interested in. The fourth item is the strategy. This also means that the expectation of the price in the item that you are interested in, if it is a call, it will mean that the expectation for the item that you are interested in has a tendency to go higher, in which you would like to buy into the item at the agreed price instead of the future higher price. Lastly, the fifth component is the contract price or we also call it the options price. This will be the amount of money that you will be paying or receiving for this contract. Let's go through the house illustration that was seen in the earlier video. Let me do a recap of the story. There is a young couple named Jason and Dolly. They have gotten married and would like to buy a house. In April, they found a nice house which they would consider to buy. They met up with the owners of the house on the possible purchase of the house. In this scenario, Jason and Dolly are the buyers and Alex and Crystal are the sellers. The current price of the house is $400,000. Jason and Dolly have heard that there could be developments near the house. The development could be a tourist center or a chemical plant. Jason and Dolly would not want to stay in a place where there would be chemical plant. However, the type of development will only be known 5 months later. As Jason and Dolly really love the house for its current value of $400,000, but somehow they are concerned with the development that may affect the price. They have decided to sign a 6 months contract, which is till October, with Alex and Crystal to book the house. And within that 6 months, Jason and Dolly will have the rights to purchase the house at the current price of $400,000. Alex and Crystal are obligated to sell the house to Jason and Dolly at $400,000 within the 6 months. Jason and Dolly shall pay Alex and Crystal a deposit of $3,000 for the 6 months of waiting. Now, let's examine what's in the options contract. First, there is the name. In this case, the name of the item is called the big house. This is the name of the house that Jason and Dolly are interested in. Second component is the expiration date. Jason and Dolly created the six month contract in April and six months later will be October. So the expiration date for this contract will be in October. The third component is the strike price. This is the agreed price that Jason and Dolly wanted for the house during this six months period, which is till October. The agreed price for the house is $400,000. The fourth item is the strategy. The intention of Jason and Dolly is to buy into the house with expectation of a rise in the future valuation price of the house. A call option is created. Purchasing the call contract is with expectation of a rise in the future price. The fifth component is the contract price. Jason and Dolly need to pay $3,000 to Alex and Crystal in order to establish this options contract. This means that they are able to purchase the house at $400,000 within the next 6 months, which is till October, even if the price has gone higher. Now, we know what are the components of an options contract. 
But how does that relate to the stock market and the stocks that I'm interested in? Let's say I'm interested in this company called X1Y1Z1 Incorporation with a stock symbol XYZ. And the current month is June. The price currently is at $145. I see a potential of the price going higher in the next 6 months. Thus, I place down all the information. Company symbol is XYZ. Current month is June. I would like to establish a contract for 6 months. So expiration date will be till December. Just a quick note. Monthly options contract expire on the third Friday of the month. When I mention December, I will mean that the expiration date is actually the third Friday of December. The agreed price uh, is to be at $145. And I'm expecting the price to continue to go higher. The contract price that I'll be paying will be at $635. Now, let's take a look at the options contract table. Let's go through them to take out the five main components. First, the symbol. In this case, the symbol is X, Y, Z. Let's take a look at the second component, the expiration date. In this case, the expiration date is 15 December 2017. The third component, which is the strike price or the agreed price, which is $145. Let's take a look at the fourth component, the strategy. It will be a call as I'm expecting the price to go higher. Let's take a look at the fifth component, the options contract price. As one option contract controls 100 units of the stock, I will need to multiply the value by 100. So the options contract price is $635. To summarize, I've talked about the five components of an option contract. Firstly, the name or the symbol, the expiration date, the strike price or the agreed price, the strategy used, and also the contract price. And also illustrated using the house example, and the use of the XYZ company as another example. Do note that one option contract controls 100 units of the stock, so there is a need to multiply it by 100 to get the amount that you pay for each options contract. Another point to note is that monthly options expiration refers to the third Friday of the month. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch more free videos at willtrips.com.